said Don't give up, it's a little complicated All tied up, no more love And I'd hate to see you waiting
Congratulations! You're moving on to first grade. I'm so proud of you. But don't forget to come and visit me next year and have a super, super wonderful summer. See you in the fall. Bye. Hey there, first graders. Wait, oh, wait, I forgot. No, you're not first graders anymore. You're second graders. Congratulations. I'm so happy, sad. I'm happy because you made it to second grade and you're going to go on and learn all kinds of new stuff. I'm sad because you're not going to be in first grade with me anymore. So I'm happy sad. But I know that you will be next door, so I will get to see you. Okay, kids, have a great summer. Miss you. Bye. Hi, Foster Homes. It's Miss Smith. I'm wishing I could do this in person, but since I can't, I'm just going to give a shout out to all of my second and third graders. I've really missed you this last couple of months, not being able to see you in person. You've done a wonderful job. I'm so proud of all the work you've done at home. And I also want to say goodbye to the fifth grader. She'll be moving on. But remember, you always will be a Hollister Hawk. And always remember our motto, it will help you no matter where you are in life. I am a Hollister Hawk. I will show responsibility, own my learning and actions, accept all respect all things. Choose to soar no matter where your life takes you. I miss you all. I can't wait till I can see you again in person. Take care, everyone. Happy end of the 2020 school year. Go. Congratulations, fourth graders. You guys are now in fifth grade. I hope you have a wonderful summer and we'll see you next year. Hi, everybody. It's Mrs. Hamby here standing outside the Hollister Elementary School. Get a good look at it, my fabulous fifth graders, because now you are spectacular sixth graders. I'm very proud of you. I know you're gonna do great things in your lives. Don't forget, always come back and say hello. I'll miss you. Take care. Mwah. Hi, Abigail, Addison, Wyatt, and Ethan. This is Mrs. Romans and I am excited to see what you four will do in the next six years of your life. Move it on to Filer, to the intermediate school, the middle school, and the high school. I enjoy watching you four when you're in kindergarten. I would like to see what happens in the next few years. Don't forget us here in Hollister and come by and visit us once in a while. Good luck. Hello, Hollister Hawks. I hope you've been having a nice time at home. Um, it was nice to be able to spend the time with you guys that I did um, at the school in the library. I hope you guys have been continuing to read. Um, I We still have a lot of things that are, a lot of new stuff coming into the library, a lot of new books. So, um, Next year, you know, we're hoping to to get those out so that you guys can enjoy them. And um, I would like you guys to all have a great summer and do something fun and exciting and try and learn something new every day. All right. Um, have a great summer. Bye. Hi, Hollister Hawks. It's Miss Heather here. I hope that you're safe and healthy and that you're finding a bit of joy in every day, even through these challenging times. We're so proud of you for taking on this challenge and for finishing the year. We can't wait to see you in the school again, and we hope that you have a great summer. See you later. Hello, Hollister Elementary parents, students, and staff. I have missed seeing all of your faces every day at school. And I'm very proud of your efforts to complete lessons online. You did it. Ethan, Abby, Addison, and Wyatt, you are almost sixth graders. We know you will be successful in all your future endeavors and hope that you will drop in and visit us next year. We will miss you. During this craziness, my mantra has been embrace what you can control and let go of what you can't. So 
with that in mind, have a fantastic summer, and I look forward to seeing everyone back at school this fall. Hello, Ethan, Addison, Abby, and Wyatt. Um, I just wanted to say a few words to recognize you for your accomplishments and for moving on to sixth grade. So I just wrote a few words that I'd like to share with you because I, I do remember you from when you were my very first kindergarten class at Hollister and that was an exciting year for me and an exciting time. So I just like to share this with you. A while ago, I'd say six years, I welcomed my students. Some may have had tears, but as the year went swiftly past, these little gems were learning fast. One student, Abby, was slender and tall. She was very quiet but nice to us all. She loved to learn, was smart as can be, and very good at math, you see. Ethan was next in height. He worked on learning with all his might. He loved to read and ask a question or two. He was very smart, I'm telling you. Next is Wyatt, who first was sad, but with each day soon became glad. He realized that school could be fun. He worked so hard and learned a ton. Last but not least is Addison Small. Her sweet, sweet smile could brighten us all. She liked her work to be the best it could be, that she quietly helped others we all could see. That year was 2014 or so. It seemed to be such a long time ago. And as I look at these wonderful youth, I am thankful to have helped just a bit in their growth. Congratulations, guys. And I know that your future holds many great things and just like to leave you with a couple of words of advice. The first one is to just read, read, read and the whole world will open up to you. And secondly, kindness never fails and you will have no regrets. If you, if you are focused on being kind to people. Anyway, congratulations to you. Have a great summer. And I hope that, that this fall proves to you to be an exciting year. Bye.